Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and a very pleasant night to you, my pack, and welcome back once more to World of Tanks. Let's get right into the replay. Okay, this one's naturally going to have to be a battle replay because I was blasting copyright music the entire time I was playing and wasn't recording, so... A little explanation, well, a little bit more than what you're going to get before and after the video. Apparently, person on the enemy team, that top-tier heavy tank, does replay feature have... Can I push tab? Yes, I can. That BZ58, that top player over there, decided to say that I was reported because I had a good game. <laughs> so, tier 5 and a tier 7 game, and I'm about to have a good game, apparently, so... Let's see exactly what happens. Am I going to cheat and shoot through rocks, or... One-shot everyone I encounter, or other magical nonsense like that? No. <laughs> As you're going to see, uh, some of the RNG is a little bit wacky. I do apologize about the glitching, because this is one of the reasons I stopped doing these recorded matches like this. It's just because that's stuttering. I freaking hate it. But one thing I can say is, this was a funny match, and I played it out about 30-ish minutes ago. And as you can probably tell from how quickly it's being uploaded from the time that I played it, I had fun. Still a little bit sick, so I'm trying not to laugh too much because laugh too much, go into a coughing fit, and yeah. For the most part, I literally just do bottom tier tank destroyer stuff. Sit around, wait, 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 wait some more, and finally decide to drive away. Now, as with everything in the game, as I said in the last few videos, and for anybody new, I don't play the game with premium rounds because I don't see them as a necessity, unlike everybody else that complains when I don't use them. Or my favorite thing, um, a clip from... I can't, I can't remember when I said it now, but I was playing my Chieftain Proto and I was firing standard rounds and then a T-110E3 shoots me and I make a comment of, it's tier 10, why aren't you firing gold rounds? Everyone fires gold. <laughs> I know the irony falls flat there because I don't really carry any premium consumable gold or anything like that, but I just make random comments like that just for my own amusement at times. I'm just keeping an eye on people's health because as you can see, because this is what I see at least when I'm playing the game, because I don't alter any of the UI stuff with mods or anything like what other people do. I just have the classic layout and every now and then some of the tanks names like right now you can see over on the left side I can't see who has what amount of health if I just quickly go over it at a quick glance so I normally zoom in try and space them out so I can see who's got what left and it gives me a little bit of an idea of whether I should run or not and at this point I'm not going to run I'm just gonna sit here and wait and there's no way I'd be able to take on the AMX 1357 and I see that they're moving up and I think are they going to push our AMX 1357, or are they just going to go through to the artillery? And in the time I was blabbering there and distracting all of you from the mini-map and from the leaderboard, the t my team's losing. We're down two tanks, was four just a minute ago. But, yeah. Also, brain's a little bit messed up at the moment because I'm still fairly tired and trying to fully wake up. At the same time, just playing around having fun. And I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting. And here comes poor weapons handling and poor accuracy by me, poor aiming. Remember, you need to give targets lead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that one hit and penetrate through the upper part of the chassis because turret's completely red and what I think happened was it looped over the chassis of the dead Mitsu 108 I'm pretty sure it looped over the front of them that they were trying to hide behind and it hit just under their gun or probably ricocheted off the top front of their turret down in their chassis and yep one more good reason why I don't like the replay system because in-game, 
That stuttering never happened. What did happen was I glitched and freaking rubber banded quite a bit. So, 331 damage, and we're five minutes in now. That's not a lot. By a mile, missed by. Okay, that one actually hit and penetrated. Hit did nothing. Hit did nothing, and then kill shot right to the engine. <laughs> That's the person said reported. So, yeah, that that's how they died. Just a bunch of RNG nonsense, and then me aiming for the engine and it going straight and true for once. Oh, one thing I'll actually have to check in the screenshots when I'm editing this and probably put in an extra thing. I didn't actually check to see if I did any damage on their M10 there for the blind fires. Alright, RNG. <laughs> now comes my favorite part of the match. So does anyone else play light tanks? You know exactly what goes on now, right? You push the artillery, you destroy the artillery players. Simple as that, right? Quick and easy. Yeah. I know light players do that too, so... Every now and then, in matches, I will just randomly go to our artillery and sit in the bush near them if I'm playing in a tank destroyer or a light tank. And I'll just wait for the opposing light tank to just come on over because they normally do that. And he's top tier. Or she's top tier. Whoever they are. Either way, I'm... I'm just going to sit here and wait now. I'm going to camouflage up and... Yeah. And another thing to note, if I'm not mistaken, I've actually been paying attention, I haven't been spotted once. <laughs> so I've managed to go this entire match without being seen. And I'm where the artillery normally sits at. And there I was just, oh. And here comes my favorite part. RNG said that they love you too and they lit them on fire. And now is the part. So, everyone sees at the bottom, no repair kit, nothing like that. I'm going to play the rest of the match with a damaged gun. And no, I'm not joking you, and this crew doesn't really have any skills because prior to the battle pass allowing tier 4 and tier 5, I don't really play my lower tier tanks, so most of their crews have, in many cases, they're just premium tanks that I got or reward tanks that I never play. So, in this case, I have, I think, one crew member out of every single one of them has two skills. Every other one was all random recruits just to fill the tank out. In other words, it has no skill crews, aside from the default one, which is six cents, which they gave to everyone. And me being me, I still want to try and be sneaky because hit points are hit points. Everything counts in the end. You ping me, I ping you, I'm not going to push up because I don't have hit points for that. As a matter of fact, neither do you because quick little alt key. They have a quarter of their health and I have about a third, ha around half of mine. But that's 200 hit points and they had 200, well more than that. But that doesn't mean much because you're going up against a KV-1 SA. What does that mean? Five round magazine. Well, not quite magazine, it's auto reloader. One round at a time. Thank you, artillery. Match still isn't over yet because they're T34 and they're Hummel. Well, you now know where the T34 is at because I started to speak and then he pops up. Yeah, 
and now they're gone. So just the Hummel left. Shouldn't be an issue, right? Should be a quick and easy fight. Or something along those terms, right? Yeah, everyone thinks that until an artillery backs themselves into a corner and shotguns you. I don't even know what I'm going to title this video. Could be reported for just playing the game. Just to poke fun at people or report people for winning. Or having a good match. Could also call it... It's random RNG at tier 5. <laughs> and 3, 2, 1. Oh, a little bit ahead, but here you go. Hummel off to the right, and they shotgun the Skoda. I now know where they're at. I'm not going to be able to get into a firing position before they get below the ridge line, so I'm going to go to the ridge line. They know someone's over here now in their base, but I'm not going to stop. I'm going to just keep on going. And at this point, I decide I want the kill. <laughs> I want that artillery. <laughs> And that's one way to end the match. <laughs> Let me quickly get a screenshot here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't care. There's a victory screen. That's the thumbnail. <laughs> and I'll see you all back in the garage in just a minute in the game. Alright, now that's over and you're back at the garage. Naturally, because I logged out, logged back in and whatnot, can't show the replay. Well, I can't show the thing other than screenshots, so what I have on my second screen pulled up are the match stats, so I can actually see. So, first off, I want to clarify, I did, in fact, hit the M10 with one of the blind shots. So, yeah, blind shot between the buildings. I don't know if it was the first or the second one, but one of them hit, one of them penetrated. Uh, we did 1,561 damage, 4 kills... Uh, two, four, six criticals, and then some spotting assistance on the KV-1 SA. Alright, that, that's the match itself, and I didn't actually get a screenshot of the detailed report, so I don't know how much I made for that match, but it shouldn't be hard to check, because I've only played six matches, and two of them were in the M10. 203... I made 29,000 for the first match in the KV-1, yeah, yeah, yeah. I made about 40, 42,000 after the repairs and resupply. Math! <laughs> <laughs> but aside from that, there wasn't anything else to talk about. So, that's it. That's going to be the video, everybody. So... I'll send you all on your way, and I'll start working on the next Vega video, finally, and talk about the battleship. So, how many times can I say so in this video? Well, go ahead and go back to your account and let me know in the comment section. That's going to be it, though, everybody. Be safe out there, happy hunting, and as always, I'll see you later.